Nikolai Vtorei uh, Vtorai um, Alexandrovich, Nicholas the second son of Alexander, uh, was the last Russian Tsar or Emperor. He was born in May 1868 and was assassinated uh, with his immediate family members and a few servants in Yekaterinburg, Siberia in July 1918, aged 50. He ruled Russia for over 22 years from his father's death in uh, November 1894 until his forced abdication following the uh, bourgeois revolution of Russia in March 1917. He was a, sim a fairly simple, a modest, self-effacing uh, and tender man, especially to his wife and children, a deeply religious and even fatalistic man. Uh, his wife, uh, the Empress or Tsaritsa uh, Alexandra, was even more religious, according to some his, uh, historians, even a hysterically religious woman. Later in, in life, starting maybe about uh, 10, 11 years before his death or murder, he became increasingly under the influence of a wandering Siberian-born peasant and supposed hermit or monk, even though he was really neither, uh, Grigory Rasputin. Especially the deeply religious Empress Alexandra claimed that Rasputin was a holy man and uh, did not simply uh, refused to believe the substantiated stories of uh, even the substantiated stories of uh, Rasputin's uh, sexual uh, and other orgies, because supposedly Rasputin's pieces of advice and prayers helped to control the hemophilia of their only son and uh, the heir apparent of Russia, uh, the prince. Uh, Alexei or Alexis. Uh, before uh, Alexei they had four daughters, but under the Russian imperial succession uh, rules, the daughters could only succeed the emperor, um, or a daughter could only uh, succeed the emperor if he had no surviving sons. Like his uh, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and so forth, uh, he was taught uh, by tutors, uh, for example, uh, German, French, and English, and indeed uh, he often used English in correspondence, for example, with his uh, cousin, uh, Emperor Wilhelm or William II of um, Germany. Affectionately, they referred to each other as Willy and Nicky. Uh, and he was also uh, through marriages related uh, to uh, King George V of Britain, who even physically resembled him. Contrary to his uh, tall and robust uh, father, he was only something like 5 feet 7 inches tall and uh, a bit slightly built. Uh, unwisely, he decided to take command of the already beleaguered Russian armies uh, in 1915, which meant that he was away from St. Petersburg, then the Russian capital, for lengthy periods of time, which meant that Alexandra and especially Rasputin controlled largely uh, Russia's domestic and foreign policies. And then he tried to reach uh, the capital, St. Petersburg, where the uh, so-called February Revolution, named uh, so because of the Julian calendar that still was used in Russia, uh, had broken out. However, he was forced to abdicate along the way. He abdicated in favor of his son, and because his son, uh, due to his hemophilia, was unable to rule, uh, he abdicated uh, eventually in favor of his brother Michael, or Mikhail, who, however, refused to accept the Russian uh, emperor's position. Uh, without uh, democratic elections being held first and without the crown essentially being offered um, to him by the Russian people's elected representatives. Nicholas II did, under pressure, establish um, 
a two-chamber imperial parliament whose lower house Duma was uh, once elected basically freely and fairly. The other elections were then more or less unfree and unfair and unfairly uh, it is since 1907 um, overrepresented the land-owning aristocrats who numbered who composed only over one percent of uh, the Russian people however they were guaranteed 50 percent of the Duma's seats the upper house was partly appointed by the emperor and partly elected by some or several uh, social institutions it was called the council of state uh, the principle of ministerial responsibility was not adopted uh, the ministers were responsible to the emperor and could be dismissed at will by him however the members of the duma did have the right to question uh, the cabinet ministers so basically well-meaning man but unfortunately not so fit to be a ruler no wonder quite many historians and uh, students of history have compared in a general sense Nicholas II with Louis XVI. That both probably would have been much happier, much more successful if they had been uh, uh, assigned to some humble uh, civilian occupation rather than uh, in the case of Nicholas the emperorship or in the case of Louis uh, the kingship. Yeah, so he was born in Alexandra Palace, Tsarskoye Sielo, or the Tsar's village in St. Petersburg, and was assassinated along with his immediate family members and their uh, few remaining servants in the Ipatyev house in Yekaterinburg, later called Sverdlovsk, in the Russian Siberia. Their remains were buried in July 1998. 80 years after their assassination in the Peter and Paul Cathedral in St. Petersburg. Uh, yes, his wife was German-born, Alex or Alexandra of Hesse and by Rhein, originally Lutheran, but she converted to the um, Russian Orthodox Church. And all their five children were assassinated with them. Uh, the four grand duchesses, Olga, Tatyana, Maria and Anastasia, and the Tsarevich or Tsar's son, Emperor's son Alexei. Um, already a prelude to what was to come was the disastrous war in the Far East over the possession of a small peninsula. Uh, Japan defeated uh, Russia humiliatingly in 1905. Um, Russia did sign uh, the Entente Agreement or Understanding Agreement uh, with Britain and France. Russia had nominally the First World War's uh, largest army among the participants, especially before the United States entered the conflict. However, it was not very well educated or equipped, and the railway network was not even nearly as well or densely organized on the Russian side as on the German side. No, no wonder that uh, Germany inflicted several painful defeats uh, on Russia on the Eastern Front. An estimated 3.3 million Russians were killed in the First World War. So the Imperial Russian Army's severe losses, the High Command's incompetent management of the war efforts, and lack of food and supplies on the home front, uh, coupled with rising prices for the basic uh, foodstuffs, were all leading causes of the fall of the House of Romanov. Nicholas, the, Nicholas felt as Grand Duke somewhat overwhelmed by his... Um, responsibilities, although he tried to dutifully uh, carry them out. Some considered it a bad omen that to celebrate his coronation in May 1896, uh, people were trampled to death in the Khodinka field, uh, then outside Moscow, now inside Moscow. Uh, 
uh, because rumors spread that there would not be enough uh, free food, beer, uh, free food and beer. So the cr uh, crowd rushed to get their share and individuals were tripped and trampled upon suffocating in the field's dirt. About 100,000 people uh, attended it and an estimated uh, 1,389 died and roughly uh, 1,300 were injured and it was seen as an ill omen and Nicholas found gaining popular trust difficult from the start of his uh, rule or reign. Um, also anti-Jewish pogroms broke out from 1903 to 1906. For example in Kishinyov, which is now the capital of Moldova. And then came the Bloody Sunday in January 1905 when the uh, Tsar was actually away from St. Petersburg. The priest and labor leader Georgi Gapon led a group of uh, workers uh, to the Winter Palace um, and uh, even officially an estimated 92 people were killed uh, by those soldiers who without any good cause opened fire on the demonstrators, peaceful demonstrators Several hundred were wounded, but it is well possible that there were hundreds killed. As bullets riddled their icons, their banners, and their portraits of Nicholas, the people shrieked, The Tsar will not help us! That evening Nicholas wrote in his diary, Difficult day. In St. Petersburg there were serious disturbances due to the desire of workers to get to the Winter Palace. The troops had to shoot in different places of the city, there were many dead and wounded. Lord, how painful and bad. Then uh, Russia's humiliating defeat at the hands of Japan in the summer of 1905, uh, it was concluded, uh, led to widespread protests and strikes in Russia. And Nicholas was forced to grant Russia at, le at last a kind of constitution, the fundamental laws, and then the two-chamber uh, imperial uh, parliament. The last two Dumas he liked because they were re elected on a much more restrictive and unequal suffrage, and there the conservative and aristocratic uh, groups and parties uh, held control conservative or basically conservative. One of the most able Russian politicians, uh, Prime Minister um, Stalipin, uh, Pyotr Stalipin was assassinated in 1911. Um, Nicholas II would have liked to wait, but then the growing pressure in Russia and then the outbreak of war in Western Europe forced him to enter the war. And already a few weeks into the war, or some weeks into the war, the Battle of Tannenberg in uh, East Prussia proved disastrous because one uh, Ru one of the Russian armies was mostly either killed or uh, imprisoned. By early 1917, uh, 15 million men had been conscripted into the Russian army. An egg cost four times what it had in 1914, butter five times. The severe winter dealt the railways overburdened by emergency shipments of coal and supplies, the final blow. 
of the 20,000 locomotives in uh, Russia in August 1914, only 9,000 were in service, while the number of serviceable railway wagons had dwindled from half a million to 170,000. After he was forced to abdicate, uh, he was first allowed to stay in Vitsarsko uh, Yesielo. But then he was transported to Tobolsk and eventually to Sverdlovsk. Already in March 1970, the British government had reluctantly offered the deposed Russian imperial family an asylum, although it was suggested that it would be better for the Romanovs to go to a neutral country because um, the ruling uh, liberals feared that the Labour Party, whose support was rising, might use uh, the uh, former Tsar's presence in the country as an excuse for agitation or something similar. So the asylum offer was withdrawn in April 1917 despite King George VI uh, objections. And as we know, the family was uh, then assassinated on the pretext that um, Nicholas II's supporters and relatives were trying to um, liberate him from the captivity. The bodies were brutally then riddled with bullets and bayonets and then thrown eventually to a mine shaft. However, enough of the bone, bra bone fragments remained uh, to identify most family members uh, in the 1990s and then to give them a ceremonial burial. 